Missed his chance. But he will have the better position. Nice work here. And see how he backs off. Because Redshift was using the shotgun. The Obdab says, okay, you can use your shotgun. I'm going to back off and shaft the hell out of you. The Obdab definitely getting the better of that, uh, of that exchange. Dropping in, waiting for Mega. Nice move by Yabdab here. He's got that timing down quite well, even though he wasn't even there for the first grab. Redshift is, uh, has pretty much lost control of, of a number of the items here. Red Armor's coming back. And Yabdab, you can see, he's hopping back over. He's trying to deny Railgun. And he's going to forego that, I think, for Red Armor. He's taking kind of a weird path to it, but he should be able to grab it. Now, Yabdab, sorry, at this point, should know that Redshift has a rail. There it is. Hey, Grease, let me throw this in perspective for you real quick. Um, I went to grab a can of Pringles, and right when I put my headset on, I hear that you're going to shave your testicles, so um, I'm interested. <laughs> Two hits. Impressive. Yeah, that's good times. Uh, that's basically when we hit 500 <laughs> Twitter followers. Like, pretty much every 500 Twitter followers that we get, I, I'm going to do something uh, quite... Um, you have taken the lead. Uh, let's just say you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't broadcast it on national television. <laughs> well, um, that leaves it as a pretty wide open... Uh, <laughs> anything you, anything you want to do, pretty much. Mm-hmm. It'll be good times. All right, so Yabdab no, just currently has the only score in this map, and he is maintaining control. Eats a rail there, and if we hop over and take a look, Redshift uh, about actually about even stack. But right now, control still going in Yabdab's favor. Redshift is able to grab Red Armor there to counter off that mega health picked up by Yabdab. I've never quite understood leading with rockets on this map when you know that your opponent is like eight miles away. Uh, you know, yeah, he's getting some nice moves there, but you know, again, he was close range at that point. Now he heard Redshift scream, and so this is Yao Dab's chance to extend that lead. Mega is coming up, and he knows it. Mega has gone to Redshift, and it's going to turn the tide of this battle. That Mega made all the difference, and Yabdab goes down, and he's going to try to get weapons before he goes to maybe defend a red. No, he just backs off and says, fuck it, I'm not going for red. That's definitely going to allow Redship to stack up very nicely right now. Yeah, it's a very tight game so far, one-to-one. -one. Of course, uh, part of that's the nature of the map. It moves a bit slowly. And here, yeah, Yabdab has lost his timing on red. For some reason, he's thinking it's going to be there. Mega's up first, and we'll hop over and take a look. Redshift has just picked it up. Redshift now coming for red, and Yabdab drops off the platform as it spawns. That is huge. Now, Redshift can uh, attempt to do some damage. He doesn't hit any of his shots. And again, um, I think we're seeing a, maybe a dependence on rockets for Yabdab here. He doesn't have a real gun after his death. And um, you can see that his lack of weapons is really hurting him here. And he's, so, he's trying to force a situation where the rocket launcher is, is useful. But now the Mega Health going in his favor will again save the life. Yeah, apparently Mega is uh, the key to getting a frags on this map. Now oh, right there, Yabdab wishing that he had a railgun. Did not have anything that was useful long range. Now here, this could be key. If he can dodge the plasma... Because he's now been able to deny Railgun to Redshift. Now we probably will see a trade for Red Armor and Mega here. We're spying at the same time. Uh, and actually, there's a chance here. Yabdab should be getting red. It is up. And it had he been quick, he could have uh, cut off the grab of that. Uh, of that mega health. He probably wouldn't have been able to get it, but he could have done some damage if he was picked up. And here he's a bit telegraphed. Redshift makes him pay. It is now again tied. It's hopping over to Redshift's point of view. This thing is getting pretty interesting. And it's uh, less than five minutes to go. And here come the rails from Yabdab. 
and definitely right now this battle is going in the Abdab's favor although a pair of great rockets by Redshift oh that was a nice attempt by Redshift to try to grab that Mega had he gotten it he probably could have just MG the Abdab down because if we take a look Mega is already gone and only 50 armor is in the hands of the Abdab which was picked up after that Mega pick so the Abdab would have been very weak once again Mega is the deciding factor between these two guys. Whoever gets it, gets the frag. Now, Redshift's been doing a good job um, controlling armor for the most part. But, um, yeah, I think that main problem is the Mega. He's been letting the Yabdab get it a little too much, and he's not been able to plant enough rails and rockets into him to really tear down his health. Nice shots by Yabdab. Redshift now down to 8 health and has lost the Mega and what little armor he had. Now, this is a smart move. He's doubled back a bit here. And that's going to get him away from Yabdab's hungry rocket and rail clutches. 42. Yeah, and Redshift unable to connect to that rail again. And he, he's getting close, he's got the bright idea, but Yabdab able to best him on the shots. Red in three, and the Yabdab is just trying to defend this area. Red has spawned, and he will grab it. Red shift not able to challenge at all for it. Now this can be interesting, long range. Yeah, it looks like Mega, uh, yeah, Yabdab has lost the Mega timing. Look at this. Interesting. <laughs> He's still waiting for it. You got 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, at, th at this point, this is going to... If Redshift is smart, he can go get red armor here. Instead, he took a wrong turn. And it looks like it's just a matter of both these guys not knowing when the hell items are spawning. Yabdab's going to wander into Mega and has taken control of the map one more time. But it's not really See, a... Uh, about Redshift. I would have, uh, I would have jumped down there and tried to contest for Mega, even though he was on the other side of the map. He saw uh, Yabdab run up high there. I would have jumped down low, mm -hmm. right there in the mid, and uh, tried to put some damage in there, fire some rockets or something. Yeah, you know, and, and if you realize that you're not going to get there in time, you can hang outside the doorway and uh, you know just aim your sights on the item itself and just wait for the grab yeah. and I mean, pull the trigger. You never know what's going to happen. I've seen, I've seen it happen so many times where people do that and they end up. Jump, making the um, opponent jump over the item, you know, and then eventually killing mm -hmm. them, and then you get the item. I mean, it's it's happened plenty of times, but I'm just not seeing a lot of that. That being said, this game is still very tight. It's um, five to two. There's still time for a comeback from Redshift, but I'm thinking so far, Yabdab has uh, shown he is slightly superior in terms of map control. I think aim-wise, uh, they're actually pretty close. Yeah, I think the main factor is um, later here in the game, about the last half, Yabdad's been starting to get the armor timings down better, and he's been um, really contesting for those. And his his rails have been landing. That's that's really going to give you a lot of advantage. Yeah. Especially on Trinity, where rail is God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've seen uh, you know, some of the best players play this map and essentially just play keep away with the rail against an evenly matched opponent and they end up winning because uh, you know their opponents just can't get their favorite weapon exactly of course this map's been a lot more rocket heavy and, and in strange situations too um, you know we're starting to see rail used a little bit more but I know at the start especially and like here again we're seeing a lot of rocket splash coming out from Yabdab now, there it's a smart move because he's got the height advantage, he's got Redshift kind of stuck in the corner. Uh, that's the right time to use rockets, but uh, we've also seen both players uh, fire rockets um, you know, uh, across horizontal corridors where there's really no uh, splash advantage you know, from height or anything like that. Now, this should go... This actually should go to Redshift um, because uh, he was able to use that LG quite well. Yabdab got maybe a little bit flustered with all that electricity coming down in front of his face. Uh, Red is making a last ditch effort to get a frag and it doesn't work out for him. Um, Yabdab will steal that crown away. Redshift, a four time winner on King of the Hill, will have to hop off. Okay, here we go. 